Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. Today I wanted to recap on Verde Agritech. And in your life, you just need to buy one gem. You don't need to buy 100 of stocks. Just find one investment opportunity of your lifetime and that's enough, okay? And I think I have found that stock and that's for the Agritech. Look at the performance. It has almost quadrupled in less than a year and it's going to keep on rising. And I wanted to give you the reasons why I think this is the best stock in the world. So why Verde Agritech? And I tried to put all the reasons on one page because there are so many reasons. Let's go over all of them. So first of all, the stock is undervalued, okay? The PE is only four right now, which is very cheap when you compare it to all other stocks like the tech stocks at PEs of 30 or the commodity producers at a PE of 8, gold miners at a PE of 12 to 15. So this is undervalued at a PE of 4. That's the first point. Second, no debt. There's no debt in this company. You can find a lot of companies uh, like this big copper mines they have a lot of debts some even have uh, the same amount of debt as the equity or even higher than equity so that's a problem this company has no debt okay there's also no dilution because they are profitable some gold miners uh, explorers don't earn any money so they need to keep on diluting shareholders this company has no problem of that they have cash flow, so there's no dilution at all. And the next one, exponential growth. So let's say you have Newman Mining, uh, Barry Gold. Those companies have no growth at all, okay? Maybe 5% growth per year. They're not going to increase gold production. So. Those are not growth companies. This one has exponential growth. Each year they are going to double production. So that's a huge win here. Exponential growth. It's like a tech stock. And that growth is uh, at low capex. So to double production, they just need to build another plant. And that plant costs almost no money. It's, it's like 2 million or 3 million for a plant. And they can get really high margins on that and achieve exponential growth without even uh, having any capex. When you compare this with copper mines, they have billions in capex to get production doubled. But this company has exponential growth with low capex, okay? And it's the lowest cost producer of all the fertilizer companies. When you compare this to the other companies uh, like Mosaic, Capis S or Belarus, they have high costs. This one has the lowest cost. So there's no risk of bankruptcy at all even if the potash price crashes. That's also a benefit. They also don't use natural gas to produce the end product, while the others like Yara need natural gas to uh, produce ammonia. This company just grinds the, the, the ore and then they get their product. So if natural gas prices spike, during an energy crisis, this is uh, unaffected by this. So that's also a positive. And it has benefits for the soil. 
so they can add nutrients to uh, the potash that they produce. It's actually not potash, but uh, gluconite. But um, there is an added benefit here. They add nutrients like uh, minerals that will benefit soil health. That's something that the other competitors don't have. And they don't use chloride, so it is uh, a better product. It is in high demand. The product is sold out, so they can increase production as much as they want because there is high demand for it. Okay. Also, Brazil needs uh, potash because they import it from Canada and from Belarus, and now Belarus is sanctioned. So Brazil is in need of product. Okay. So there's no demand problem here. Very important also, ESG. That's the new uh, hype today. Every company needs to be ESG. And this product actually uh, increases carbon capture. Okay. Because it benefits the soil health and that will benefit carbon capture. It doesn't use any water. We all know that water is going to increase in price in the future. You can see all those water stocks are going up exponentially. Water is very important. And this company doesn't use any. That's a huge advantage. Also, no tailings dams. And we're in Brazil. Brazil doesn't like tailings dams uh, because they always burst. So this company doesn't use that. Another advantage. Energy costs are only 5% for the plant. So there's no, no problem if energy prices go up because it's only 5% of the cost. Management is marvelous. They're, they have a board uh, with people like uh, uh, Paulinelli, who is a Nobel Prize laureate, uh, winner of uh, food prices, uh, former minister of agriculture. So this is excellent management. So I think approvals, they will get here. Okay, Approvals for the mining license, if you have a Minister of Agriculture on board, then uh, the approval will come. Insider Holdings. CEO owns 20% and hasn't sold a single share. So the CEO will benefit if the share price goes up. Okay. He will not uh, sell any shares. Um, that means that the, the stock price will probably keep on rising. Because he, he wouldn't want to dilute himself. He wouldn't want the stock price to go down because he owns 20% of the company. So huge insider holdings, also a positive. 30 year mine life. You can find a lot of gold companies with only one year mine life or five year mine life. The largest have maybe 10 years of mine life. This company has 30 years of mine life. That's amazing. It's almost like a big copper company. Copper companies have large deposits uh, for 20 to 30 years. This is like those copper companies. And it's very cheap right now. So this is a huge benefit. They do not need to explore for more resources. And that deposit is at surface. You could have a mine with a lot of deposits like Seabridge Gold, uh, Nova Gold, but those deposits are so deep beneath the ground and need a lot of capex to be built. This one is at surface. So that's why we have low capex to get this out of the ground. Another benefit. Um, also, we have a price target. Uh, from Fundamental Research Corp, they said that this stock can triple. The fair value is triple the current price. So we have people, researchers, that confirm that the stock is undervalued. 
The next one, we are in an inflationary commodity boom. So we know that commodities are now bottoming out and they are going to go in the up cycle. So it's the perfect time to invest in fertilizer companies, right? Food is also going higher. Um, on, the polit on the political side, we have Belarus sanctions. So we know that uh, Belarus has a lot of supply chain problems. Yara has stopped sourcing from Belarus. Lithuania is now also stopping uh, the transport routes from Belarus. So this political pressure is going to increase the fertilizer prices. And last but not least, the Brazilian equity market is undervalued at only a PE of 7 right now, while other markets are at 15 to 20. So investors will start putting money in the Brazilian market very soon, and that will only benefit Verde. So just count all these points. There is no other company with so many positives as Verde Agritech. It's unbelievable. Just wanted to show you this report. Fundamental Research Corp. We have a fair value of 12 and we are only at 3.7. So that means there is a fourfold, no, a threefold increase. You could see this as four and it's going to 12. So, so a little bit over threefold increase to fair value. So read this paper and I think you will agree with me that Verde Agritech is a strong buy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.